The 2023 football schedule was released for the USC Trojans by the Pac-12 on Wednesday, and it, at first glance, looks like a big step up from what USC faced in 2022. It opens with three straight home games, and you'd like to think that USC can kind of best foot forward and, and get off to a winning start here. San Jose State comes to the Coliseum for an interesting Week Zero game for the Trojans. It's a small slate of games in that week zero on August 26th. And so USC will get a lot of eyes, a lot of national attention for that one to see how they're going to kick off their 2023 season. That's followed by a home game against Nevada on September 2nd, and then another home game against Stanford on September 9th. USC hasn't played Nevada since 1929, and Stanford, that's going to be one of three straight games that USC faces against new head coaches. That's Troy Taylor taking over for David Shaw at Stanford will be interesting, as always, based on what USC did under Lincoln Riley in 2022. First-year head coaches aren't going to get much of a pass anymore uh, with, with what they're able to do to kind of transition programs quickly. So again, Stanford bringing in Troy Taylor and the Cardinal to the Coliseum on September 9th. USC then gets one of two buys on September 16th. That week zero game means USC will get two buys this year. So September 16th, a chance to sort of rest up after that first home stand of, of three games. And then USC hits the road for two games in a row. They'll go out to Arizona State. New head coach Kenny Dillingham, he was the offensive coordinator at Oregon last season. And then it's an interesting one. USC travels September 30th out to Colorado. And, and certainly all eyes early in the season are going to be on what new Colorado head coach Deion Sanders can do with the buffs. There's a lot of talent coming into Colorado via the transfer portal. And again, it's one of those things where if he can get all the pieces in place, the turnaround at places where you can recruit well to don't have to take that long anymore. So we'll see just how far Colorado is. They've got a tough opening to their Pac-12 season with Oregon and USC back to back there. USC then returns home and will host Arizona, although the date not yet known yet. It's either going to be a Friday, October 6th game or a Saturday, October 7th game. That has not been locked in yet. But after that game, it feels like a real sort of line in the sand moment for USC. The final six games, probably the five toughest games of the year for USC crammed in to a six-week schedule there. First, it starts with that road trip to South Bend to take on Notre Dame on October 14th. USC then has to turn right around and host Utah, back-to-back Pac-12 champ Utah, on October 21st at the Coliseum. There's a road trip to Cal on October 28th, which maybe sort of the last chance to kind of take a breath. Uh, Maybe the Pac-12, you never know kind of who's going to jump up and, and be good year to year. But then USC hosts Washington and Heisman Trophy candidate quarterback Michael Penix is returning for the Huskies. That is going to be an interesting one. USC turns around and has to take a road trip in no- on November 11th up to Eugene to take on the Oregon Ducks. Now remember in 2022, USC did not have to leave Los Angeles for the entire month of November. Really backloaded home slate and then got UCLA at the Rose Bowl. So they've got a, a late season trip up to Eugene, that's going to be a fascinating one. Oregon and and USC, obviously, that rivalry going right now. And then November 18th, the rivalry game against UCLA feels like it's it's a week earlier because USC does have that bye the following week. So again, those final six games, and, and really, I think the five that people will look at, at Notre Dame, home against Utah, home against Washington, at Oregon, and home against UCLA, potentially five ranked opponents uh, over the last six games of its schedule. Again, the second bye, interestingly, comes after the UCLA game, so so after the regular season. Uh, and so if USC can play its way into the Pac-12 championship game, the Trojans will be coming off a bye while its opponent in that game will have played there on November 25th. So USC obviously hoping that it needs to use that bye week to get ready for a championship game. And looking at this schedule, if they are there on December 1st at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, USC will definitely earn their way in to that game.